also. Okay. So do you remember? Yes, sir. Okay. And what is future maintainable profit? Vanisha? Sir, I have no idea. Okay, so you don't remember to know the answer of future maintainable profit. Actually, future maintainable profit is profit which can be maintained by a business firm uh, without any, you can say, including any abnormal gain or loss. Okay. So future maintainable profit is profit which can be maintained in future. Okay. We do not include any abnormal loss or gain in this profit. Why? Because abnormal gain or loss is non-recurring in nature. It is not going to repeat uh, again in future. So that's why we exclude these items in calculating actual profit in future maintainable profit. Okay. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you see the definition of goodwill, goodwill is an intangible assets which enables, uh, you can see the screen shared by me. Yes, sir. Okay. So goodwill is an intangible assets which enables a business enterprise to earn higher profit than other similar business. It is value of reputation or good name enjoyed by a firm. So you can see here that it enables a business enterprise to earn higher profit. The actual benefit of a goodwill the reputation, earn higher profit, okay? So in super profit, this definition is more relatable. In average profit method, we don't use higher profit. In super profit, uh, super profit method, we do. So what is super profit method? You can see here the formula of super profit. Average profit minus normal profit. Normal profit is a profit which is easily earned by all other companies. Okay. If you invest 1 lakh rupees and normal rate of return in the market is 10%, then normal profit is 10%. Is that clear? Yes, so if you take this example, I'm taking an example here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's say there is three businesses in a market, A limited, B limited, and C limited. And A limited has invested one lakh, B limited has invested two lakh, and C limited again has invested one lakh in the business. Okay. So A limited is earning 10%. B limited is also earning 10%. Okay. So in generally, in this type of situation, we assume that C limited will also earn 10%. Yes or no? Yes, sir. 10% or around 10% nearby. So in the same manner, A limited will get 10,000 of profit, B limited will get 20,000 of profit and C limited should get 10,000 of profit. But in actual, C limited is earning 15,000. Yes, 15,000. So is it good for C limited or bad? Yeah. It is good. Yes, because he is earning. 5,000 more than the normal profit, which is earned by A limited and B limited. 
okay because they are earning 10% and c limited by 10% c limited will also earn 10000 but he is earning 15000 so now this is the difference of 5000 and it is called super profit means c limited is earning higher profit than other similar business okay this is super profit is that clear yes sir yes sir do you have any doubt in this topic or uh, in this concept no sir okay so super profit now you can see the formula that i have written here super profit is actually average profit minus normal profit and average profit is similar written here normal profit you can calculate if uh, the information of normal profit is given in the quotient then no need to calculate but if capital employed is given and normal rate of return is given then you have to calculate the you can see here capital employed capital employed multiplied by normal rate of return so what i have done here you can see this formula capital employed into normal rate of return so normal rate of return is 10 percent and capital employed is one lakh so the normal profit is ten thousand okay so first you will calculate super profit by using this formula average profit minus normal profit if normal profit is given then okay otherwise you have to calculate normal profit also capital employed into normal rate of return and then you will calculate goodwill goodwill multiplied uh, goodwill equals to super profit multiplied by number of year of purchase same as to the concept of average profit okay average profit into number of year of purchase we used there so we will use super profit here super profit into number of year purchase this is your super profit method calculation of goodwill so uh, i'm going to give you a portion here for calculation of super profit just one minute Okay. okay, I'm sharing you portion. You can see the portion here. Yes, portion number 11. So could you zoom with me? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, could you zoom with me? Yes. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. So uh, the question says, a partnership firm earned the net profit during the last three years and did 31st March as follows. 2014, 17,000, 2015, 20,000, 2016, 23,000. These are the profit of three years, okay? The capital invested in the firm throughout the ever-mentioned period has been 80,000. 
Now, having regard to the risk involved, 15% is considered to be fair return on the capital. Calculate value of goodwill on the basis of two years purchase of average super profit on during the ever mentioned period. Okay, can you calculate the goodwill? Yes, sir. It seems easy, or should I solve the question? Yes, okay, so please try it first, and then if you will not able to solve it, then I will solve. Actually, answer is given here, but uh, if your answer does not match, then no problem. You can tell me the answer. Answer. Okay, so what is the answer? 16,000? Yes, sir. Okay, it seems very easy. And Manisha? Yes, I took it. So, uh, your both of your answer is sixteen thousand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, it is very simple question. Actually, I am going to solve this uh, thirteen 
question number 13. So a business earn an average profit of 8 lakh during the last few years. The normal rate of profit in the similar type of business is 10%. This is normal rate of return. The total value of assets and liabilities of the business were 22 lakh and 5 lakh 60,000. Actually, it is not a tough question also. It is also seems easy. Calculate the value of goodwill of the firm by super profit method if it is valued at two and a half years purchase of super profit. In this type of portion, actually, first we have to calculate capital employed. Portion number 30. So, because for calculation of normal profit, we need capital employed and it is not given in the portion. So, what is capital by uh, formula? The formula for capital is assets minus liabilities. You remember this formula? Yes, sir. Yes. So asset value is 22 lakh and liabilities is 5 lakh 60,000. So 22 lakh minus 5 lakh 60,000. And uh, the Amount will be sixteen lakh forty thousand. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. So the next step is calculation of normal profit. Normal profit is sixteen lakh forty thousand into ten percent. Okay, yes, the uh, rate of interest is 10%. I think, yes, rate of interest is 10%. So we will get 1,64,000. And what is average profit? So average profit is a business earned an average profit of 8 lakh during the last few years. And it is not given the number of years and average profit is given. So we don't need number of years. Here, the average profit is 8 lakh and normal profit is 1,64,000. After that, we'll calculate super profit, which is Super profit equals to average profit minus normal profit. Average profit is eight lakh, and normal profit is one lakh sixty four thousand. So we will get six lakh thirty six thousand. Now we have to calculate goodwill at two and a half years of purchase. So goodwill equals to super profit that is six lakh thirty six thousand into two point five or two one by two. Okay, so it is. 15 lakh and uh, 15 lakh 90,000. This tweet, uh, let me calculate it. 636,000. Yes, it is 15 lakh 90,000. Okay, so. In this type of portion, actually, we have to calculate capital input. This is an addition. After that, the portion is same. Okay. So, this is your super profit method. Now, do you have any portion in this concept of super profit? 
No, no sir. sir. What about, uh, do you know about capitalization concept? Anyone? What is capitalization? Manisha? Actually, your voice is not clear. Okay, Ritika. So I okay, no problem. So the capitalization concept, whenever we say capitalization, means we have to convert the profit Okay, so in capitalization method, the name you can see here, capitalization, means we have to convert the profit into capital employed. And that's why it is called capitalization. Convert the profit into capital employed means if I tell you that you are earning, uh, let's say, 60,000 profit. Okay. You are earning 60,000 profit. And the no, at the rate 15%, if the rate of uh, normal rate of return is 15%, then what amount should be invested to get this profit? What amount should be invested in business? We have to earn 60,000 profit. Let's say uh, leave the business. Okay. You want to earn an interest of 60,000. Okay. And the rate of interest in the bank is 15%. So how much amount you should deposit to get the interest of 60,000? Vanisha. how much amount we should deposit in the bank to get this 60,000 interest, Ritika? Yes, Manisha, if you know the answer, you can say it. Don't hesitate. Uh, to give incorrect answer. There's no problem in that. It's your first time you can give me incorrect answer also. But please give me the answer. Whatever you think, what amount should be deposit? Yes? Can you... Uh, Type the message. Actually, your voice is not clear. Let me get my headphone first.
Okay. Uh, now tell me, Vanisha. Do you know so the answer? Is it, so is it four lakhs? It's ten lakhs. Four. Four. Four lakhs. Actually, I don't know why the voice is breaking. Can you type the message here in chat box? Oh. Vanisha, you can also do the same. Okay, it's four lakh, yes. Yes, the answer is four lakh because how we calculate this 60,000 divided by 15%. So you will get four lakh. If we deposit this four lakh amount or if we invest this amount into the business, then we will get 15% return and get 60,000 in profit. Okay. Okay, sir. Now, if let's say we should invest this 4 lakh to earn this profit, but actually we are earning this profit, but we have invested only 3 lakh into the business. Okay. We are earning 60,000 profit, but we have invested only 3 lakh into the business. We find the rate of interest, sir. No, no, I'm not saying interest rate. Okay. I'm saying you clear uh, that portion. This 60,000. Okay. So uh, the profit is 60,000, but we have invested only 3 lakh. Okay. Is this clear? Is this concept clear to you? Yes, sir. What I'm saying here. Okay. So the 4 lakh should be invested, but we have invested 3 lakh. It means how much amount we invested less 4 lakh minus 3 lakh. Okay. So we should invest this 4 lakh into the business, but we have invested only this. So actual investment is 3 lakh. It is 1 lakh. This difference is called goodwill. Okay. okay sir. So first, in this type of portion, profit will be given. Okay. You have to convert that profit in capitalized value. Means you have to convert that amount in capital. And then you will deduct the actual capital employed from that capitalized value. This will be your goodwill. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is your capitalization method. You can see here, goodwill equals to capitalized value minus capital employed. And now you can see capitalized value is again, in detail, it is average profit divided by normal rate of return, which we have already done in previous portion. So average profit divided by normal rate of return in 200 minus capital employed. Capital employed, if it is given in the portion, then no problem. If it is not given, then you will calculate it by assets minus liabilities concept. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Average profit, you know how to calculate. You already know this average profit, how to calculate, and you will divide it by normal rate of return. So you will get capitalized value. After that, you will deduct the capital employed from that and you will get goodwill. Okay. So now tell me, 
if you have any doubt in this concept or previous concept. Yes, no, sir. Okay, good. The uh, a simple change in this concept is capitalization of super profit. Okay, actually the concept is similar with super profit. Capitalization of super profit. Yes, capitalization of super profit. In this concept, the super profit is 15,000. Actually, it is written here. First, you have to calculate super profit and then you have to convert it in capital. Convert it in capital. How? You have to divide this super profit with normal rate of return, you will get capital uh, capitalized value. So this is your goodwill. Okay. In both of these cases, actually, the answer is same. There is no difference. But question can be asked for capitalization of normal profit or average profit or capitalization of super profit. That's why this formula is written here. So if you want to copy this concept, then you can write it. Okay. Or you have taken the screenshot. Okay. So you don't have to write. Okay. So future maintainable profit we have already covered. Yes. Now we have to do a portion on capitalization method. Okay, so let's say the profit of three years are given. The year one is one lakh fifty thousand. Year two is three lakh, and year three is. Year three is seven lakh fifty thousand. Okay, so these profits are given. Now, normal rate of return, normal rate of return is fifteen percent. Not so not 15 percent it is 20 percent that's 20 percent okay and capital employed okay so capital employed is 50 lakh now, can you calculate the answer by capitalization method, goodwill? Yes, sir. Okay, please calculate.
What is the answer? Rithika, you get the answer. Sir, I think mine is wrong. I'm redoing it. You are redoing it? Yes, sir. I think my answer is wrong. I'm getting a negative. Okay. Vanisha, 15 lakh. Okay. And uh, you have not completed it yet, Rithika? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so first of all, uh, okay, if you have not completed it, so see it here. I'm solving the question. First, in this question, we will calculate average profit. I think both of you have calculated this average profit. It will be one lakh fifty thousand plus three lakh plus seven lakh fifty thousand divided by three. So, what is your average profit, Venetia? Is it same? Uh, seven twelve lakh divided by four lakh. Eight. So it is four lakh. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if you calculate by capitalization method. So capitalized value you will get. Four lakh divided by normal rate of return that is 20%. Yes. Twenty percent, four lakh. So it is 20 lakh. Sorry, actually, the answer from capital input is not 50 lakh. Actually, it is little incorrect information. The capitalized value is 20 lakh. So the capital employed should be less than that amount. So let's say it is 10 lakh. Actually, on the basis of that information, the portion was incorrect actually here. So capitalized value is 20 lakh and our capital employed is 10 lakh now. So our goodwill is 20 lakh minus 10 lakh. It is 10 lakh. If you have calculated the answer on the basis of previous information, your capitalized value should be 20 lakh and your capital employed will be 50 lakh. So the answer will be in negative. Yes, 20 sir, lakh. Got negative. Yes, 20 lakh minus 50 lakh. So it is 30 lakh in minus and goodwill cannot be in negative okay that's why it is incorrect okay so you have calculated the goodwill by capitalization method if i tell you to calculate this goodwill by capitalization of super profit then the information here you can see we have to calculate the super profit first 
our average profit is 20 lakh. Uh, sorry, average profit is 4 lakh. Yes. And what will be our normal profit? Normal profit by capital employed 10 lakh into normal rate of return, that is 20%, it will be 2 lakh normal profit. Okay. So our super profit is 4 lakh minus 2 lakh. The super profit is 2 lakh. Okay. Now, by capitalization method, capitalization of super profit, capitalization of super profit, goodwill will be 2 lakh minus, uh, sorry, divided by 20%. So, value of goodwill will be. Can you tell me the amount? It will be ten thousand ten lakh. Okay. Is this clear? Yes. Okay. In uh, this concept, you can see the answer is 10 lakh here. The goodwill value is 10 lakh. And in capitalization of average profit, goodwill is also 10 lakh. So there is no difference in answer. Okay. You will get the same answer in both the method, both of the capitalization method. Capitalization of average profit and capitalization of super profit. The difference is just name. Okay. So in super profit method, we first calculate super profit and then we capitalize it. But we are doing the same thing here by different method. You can see here, uh, we are deducting 20 lakh minus 10 lakh. 20 lakh is the result of capitalization of average profit. And 10 lakh is actual capital employed. Okay. And we are using the same information for calculating of super profit. And then we will capitalizing it. So the answer is same. The process is different, but answer is same. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, uh, tell me if you have any question in these methods, capitalization of super profit and capitalization of average profit no, sir. okay so uh, i will give you some portion and you can find it on our portal and please try to solve those portion it will be your assignment for next class okay yes, sir. so if you have any doubt you can ask portion No. Okay. Uh, so this is our the cons, uh, concept of goodwill, valuation of goodwill. Now, after this, actually, we have to study change in profit sharing ratio. This is your new chapter change in profit sharing ratio. You know the concept of profit sharing ratio? Yes or no? What is profit sharing ratio? Ritika, what is profit sharing ratio? The, the ratio in which profit is shared among the partners of a firm. Yes. The ratio in which profit of the firm is distributed between partners. Yes. So if the existing partner try to change 
they agree to change the existing profit sharing ratio into a new profit sharing ratio, then what adjustment will be required in our books? We will study in this chapter. Okay, so there are different kinds of adjustment we have to do in our book. The first is calculation of gaining or sacrificing ratio. The second is accounting treatment of goodwill. Goodwill, which we have studied uh, in this chapter. So in that chapter, we don't have to study the valuation concept. We have to study the accounting for goodwill in case of change in profit sharing ratio. We have to distribute our general reserve or profit or loss given in the portion, uh, we will revalue our assets and liabilities, and there are different other adjustment also. Okay, so this is our chapter of change in profit sharing ratio. Actually, the when whenever there is a change in agreement between partners, then it is called reconstitution, where the existing partnership ends and a new partnership begins. Okay, let's say. A, B, and C are partners, okay? And their profit sharing ratio is 5 is to 3 is to 2. Now, generally, this profit sharing ratio will be written on a document called partnership deed. I think you know the concept of partnership deed. Yes? Yes, sir. Manisha? Yes. Good. So, this profit sharing ratio is mentioned in partnership deed. Okay. So if we change this profit sharing ratio, let's say we change it to three is to two is to one or one is to one is to one. Okay. So now the profit sharing ratio is changed. Then the old partnership deed has no value because you, you have to cut the, the provisions of profit sharing ratio, okay? And when you cut a statutory document, then it is not valid, okay? That's why you have to prepare a new partnership deed and it is called new partnership, okay? So that's why it is called when there is a change in profit sharing ratio, old partnership comes to an end and new partnership begins between those partners, okay? So it is called reconstitution of partnership. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, you don't have any question now? No, sir. Okay, then no, sir. that's all for